Native budworm flights tend to occur from early spring onwards. They do come in on the prevailing winds from the pastoral areas. The best time to monitor is from when canola is flowering and onwards. However, the decision to spray doesn't have to be made until pod maturation occurs. And this is a critical time to monitor for native budworm numbers and to decide whether or not to control. The native budworm, unlike other caterpillar pests, actually chew the pod and the seeds. So they can actually do a little, quite a bit of damage because they will actually reduce yield by feeding on the grain and that does reduce yield. The thresholds for their control really do depend on how many you're getting and what the cost of the grain is and the cost of control. So for instance, for a 2.7 tonne canola crop, the estimated um, threshold is about six caterpillars per 10 sweeps. The main control methods for native budworm in Western Australia are to apply the insecticide aerially because using a ground rig will cause a lot of crop loss just through squashing the crop. The issue is to really look at what your insecticide spray usage history has been. So if you've used uh, synthetic pyrethroids earlier in the season, maybe consider using another insecticide. Simply, the better your chemical rotation is, the less likely it is that off-target insects uh, will develop resistance. So just because you're targeting a spray for native budworm, um, if that insecticide is a broad spectrum insecticide, it will actually target other insect pests and they may potentially develop resistance. The Department of Primary Industries and Regional Development, DPIRD, uh, supports with GRDC a trapping program that extends from Esperance and just to north of Drelton. There's an array of traps in that area. Uh, all with a pheromone that attract male native budworm and they give an indication of where native budworm are in the landscape and the localities of which crops are more likely to be at risk. These results are published in Pest Facts and can also be seen on Pest Facts map so you can see where native budworms were in previous years and you can also see where they have been found this year. We are looking at developing better traps we are actually trialling smart traps, which count the native budworm um, as they come into the traps and give an indication of what the numbers are at uh, daily intervals. And they actually send the results remotely to a person. So we are looking at extending that.